Hello again, Struckbub. August 2024 is almost a bonus and so are the plethora of titles releasing in that month. And as the tradition goes, I'm releasing three videos dedicated to the upcoming games to look forward to in the month of August 2024. This one is dedicated to WoW profile three-dimensional titles and it includes 12 games in the list. The list is in chronological order based on the release date, so it is not a top 10, top 12, whatever list. It's just based on this game releases first, I'm gonna put it first, this game releases at the end of the month, I'm gonna put it last and so on. Uh, I hope the list helps you save some time when browsing through Steam, Epic, uh, PlayStation and other um, game stores and looking for something new, something interesting, something potentially decent to play in the month of August 2024. Um, we've got, as I mentioned, 12 titles. All of them have two things in common. They're um, three-dimensional and they are low profile um, underdogs, not so well-known, not so high-budget titles. Some of them might be single developer, indie, um, deep indie project. Some of them might be semi-indie, so small studio but still has a publisher. But overall, um, they stood out, they grabbed my um, eyes and my attention and I thought that some of you out there might be interested in those games. So I hope um, the list is uh, to your liking, or at least some of the games in it. Buckle up, struck up, and let's go! To kick things off, we've got a game called Signy Ogans Blazing, releasing on the 6th of August 2024, developed by Kill Works and published by Konami. Konami have eyes for potential hits. For small studios that are developing interesting titles that could fit the Konami family and Signy Ogans Blazing might be just one such title. I mean, if Konami have been interested in that game, um, since I think around two years ago or whatever, uh, when they when they actually signed with the developers. It's a good game, um, it's a shoot em up, typical classical space uh, ship shoot em up, underlining onslaught of eye popping visuals, ear bursting soundscapes, and mind melting action makes Signy the vanguard for the next generation of shoot em ups. Outgunned, outmanned, and out of. Uh, out on your own, punch into a sky full of hell in a last ditch battle for survival. It looks cool, it looks nice, so hopefully um, people like it. Next up we're moving on to Level Zero Extraction, releasing on the 13th of August 2024, developed by Duck Dachau Games and published by Tiny Build. Tactical extraction shooter meets immersive survival horror. Play as rival mercenaries fighting for loot, or as alien monsters hunting humans from the shadows. So, or with friends, experience this unique dark take on asymmetrical PvPvE multiplayer. I mean, it seems okay, it seems nice, um, nothing that hasn't been done already. Um, competitive extraction shooter, um, uh, competitive extraction FPS um, games in early access. Although this one, um, not sure if it will be in, in early access. It has the early access tag, but Steam does not say it will be releasing as an early access title. So time will tell. If you're looking for the next flavor in um, extraction competitive shooters, level um, zero extraction might be it in August. Next up, we have a very beautiful, colorful um, city builder, sandbox city builder, which will be starting early access on the 8th of August 2024. Preserve is the name of the game. Remember it if um, it, if what you are seeing on the screen right now uh, seems to your liking. Hex-based, kind of voxelish, um, very colorful and beautiful graphics and um, city builder. I mean, if that's uh, your kind of game, um, Preserve is a relaxing puzzle nature building game in which you flourish a vibrant ecosystem by cleverly placing plants and animals to create a perfect symbiosis to your liking. Sounds good, then wishlist follow and hopefully it's not overpriced. And you can also try a free demo that is currently available on Steam for everyone to try. Next up is something that uh, many action RPG Souls-like fans uh, will be looking forward to. It's not a high profile title, but it deserves um, all, the, all the marketing it can get. 
if you are fans of difficult Souls-like action RPGs, but you want a different twist on the genre, Dead Bound is a one-of-a-kind party-based, I'm gonna stress here, party-based Souls-like, set in a chaos world where fate and science clash, dynamically transform between fallen warriors, all with their own unique skill sets, combat styles and rich history. Conquer a brutal uh, reality where life and death were never more than dot dot dot. Keep in mind the game has a demo. Go get it. Download that demo on Steam. The game will also be releasing on other titles, uh, on other platforms I mean, such as um, Steam, Epic, GOG, Xbox, XX1 and PlayStation 5. If it looks like your kind of game, get the demo on Steam. I'm not sure if other um, platforms have it, but definitely worth it. August 8, 2024 for the release date. Uh, published by Tate Multi Media and um, developed by um, Trial Forge Studio. Deathbound seems like a potential hit in the making, so time will tell if that will be the case. Next up on this list is Train Valley World. From obviously the creators of the Train Valley universe, it comes. Um, here comes a new game. Not Train Valley, not Train Valley 2, but Train Valley World. And as words suggest, it's uh, a more. It's bigger, it's larger than the previous games, it's got more stuff to do and Train Valley World is an engrossing transport tycoon inspired by the genre classics. Build and manage efficient railroads across the globe, create sophisticated logistics chains, design your own levels and become a business mogul, so or in multiplayer. Releasing on the 9th of August 2024, Developed by Fwasm, published by Tiny Build. If you like trains like Sheldon, you will like this game. Next up, Shoulders of Giants Ultimate. Shoulders of Giants Ultimate is a very interesting title and I think it's a potential uh, sleeper hit. Potential uh, massive hit in the making, depending on the, on the marketing the game will get. Obviously, as the name suggests, it's some sort of a sequel or, or, or I don't know how to say it, uh, an improved version of Shoulders of Giants from the creators of Shoulders of Giants. Simultaneously control a sword-wielding robot and a gunslinging space rock in Shoulders of Giants, an explosively colorful sci-fi roguelike. Play alone, with a friend or as a part of a four-person team, cutting through waves of enemies on a quest to rescue the galaxy from the forces... Dot, dot, dot. Um, there is a playable demo, I strongly recommend trying it out on Steam. Um, there's also um, Xbox XS and PlayStation 5 planned releases on the 13th of August 2024. Developed and self-published by uh, Moving Pieces Interactive. Um, this uh, roguelike action RPG third-person shooter looter game might be to your liking. Uh, again, it looks smooth, it looks fluid, I love the animations, I like the visuals and the contrast between the bright and dark colors. Um, so, Shores of Giants Ultimate, will it be a hit? Time will tell, but um, try the demo if you're interested. Next up on this list we've got another interesting title, um, Dawn of Defiance, which will be starting its early access period um, on the 15th of August 2024. And since it's gonna be early access, expect bugs, glitches, missing or unfinished content and other annoying things. Developed and self-published by Traegra Entertainment. What is Dawn of Defiance? Open world survival craft game with early access. Ugh, those, those words next to each other uh, make many people turn away from a game. But this one looks cool. Uh, I love the um, I love the character design, kind of like Roman, Greek, kind of uh, ancient Greece, ancient Rome. Um, design and the buildings as well. You are the Defiler, subjected to a mythic plot across ruined isles. In this Greek myth-inspired survival craft, ascend from weak soldier to godlike anti-hero. Build impressive Greek structures, craft and upgrade your gear and face down the trials of gods with up to three friends. So yeah, if you like uh, open world survival craft games uh, and keep in mind the early access title, um, tack to that title, then try Dawn of Defiance, Greek mythology, fantasy, um, with a bit of uh, magic and stuff like that. It seems cool, it seems nice, and some of you out there definitely would enjoy it uh, if you get to try it. Not my cup of tea, but you never know. Uh, if I get to try it, maybe I might like it too. Next up is Cybercorp. 
kind of top-down arena shooter uh, with a co-op campaign. Action, sci-fi, um, fast-paced, brutal fast-paced top-down co-op looter shooter in a cyberpunk world. It looks extremely fun and uh, I believe this might be another sleeper hit in the making. Um, what should I tell you about it? First of all, try the demo. Steam has a free demo, you can get it. The game will be coming on Epic as well. And the release date is the 20th of August 2024. Developed and self-published by Me Game or Me Game, depending on how they pronounce it. Um, judging from what I'm seeing in the trailer footage, it looks like it could keep people busy uh, for quite some time. Um, arena shooters uh, with a top-down perspective uh, and co-op um, on top of that uh, aren't that many. It's kind of a mixture between um, top-down and isometric. So not fully isometric, but not fully top-down straight from, from above. But there's over 70 items uh, and all sorts of other different things, um, different customizations for your builds. So if you want to mess around with this game, try the different builds that it can offer while killing some time. Uh, I think CyberCorp could be um, something worth considering, as long as it's not overpriced when it releases. Next up is a game with a very funny name, well, funny, very interesting name. Tactical Breach Wizards is a game releasing on the 22nd of August 2024. And uh, again, um, this game also has a playable demo on Steam. Strongly recommend checking it out if it looks like your kind of game. As far as I know, the game will only be coming out on Steam. It's uh, developed uh, by Suspicious Developments Incorporated and self-published by Suspicious Developments as well. In Tactical Breach Wizards, you lead a team of renegade wizards in Kevlar through turn-based battles to unravel a modern conspiracy plot, combine their unique spells in clever ways, or rewind time to try every crazy plan you can think of uh, to punch a traffic warlock through a fourth story um, building and so on and so forth. Looks fun, looks nice. I mean, you have um, spell combos, you can experiment freely and rewind your mistakes. And overall, um, I love the art style, I love the visuals and the turn-based tactical combat. And uh, from the looks of it, the game would also be filled with various types of um, funny scenes and happenings uh, to enjoy. So. Overall, Tactical Breach Wizards, keep it on your wishlist and follow it if it looks fun and hopefully they don't overprice this one. Next up, Beyond Hanwell. Developed and self-published by Steel Art Software uh, Limited, releasing on the 26th of August 2024 as an early access title. And as uh, I've already said before in this video, early access, expect bugs, glitches, unfinished or missing features and content. Explore Westminster, London, on a journey to the ruins of Hanwell. Fight with whatever you can find or use the environment to defend yourself against an ever-increasing scourge of anomalies. Um, if you're into psychological first-person horror um, games um, with a dark and heavy atmosphere, Beyond Hanwell seems to capture that vibe pretty darn well. Um, You've got uh, various things to your um, uh, arsenal, like crowbars, wrenches, pistols, etc. Um, so, again, not my cup of tea, uh, per se, this game, but I know a lot of you out there, I know a lot of people out there love those types of games and, uh, uh, and, and uh, get scared uh, for real when they play them. Um, so, if it looks like your cup of tea, wishlist full, and hopefully they, they don't overprice it. Keep in mind, it's got a free demo, so you can check it out. And as far as I know, it will only be releasing on Steam. Next up on this list, we've got a game called End Zone 2, the sequel to End Zone, which I have never played. End Zone 2 is a post apocalyptic survival colony builder where you embark to secure humanity's survival after a cataclysmic disaster. Discover and repopulate uh, the last habitable grounds while the survival of your people hinges on your wits, foresight, and resilience in a harsh and dot 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 environment. I'm assuming. 26th of August uh, 2024 is the release date, developed by Gently Mad Studios and published by Assemble Entertainment. The game will be an early access um, release, so expect bugs, glitches, unfinished or missing features and content. 
Um, what should we say? I mean, um, it already said it in the description, but yeah, it's a city builder colony sim in a post-apocalyptic environment with its own um, mechanics and features that might set it apart from other games. It also has the difficult tack on Steam, so most likely it will be tough. Uh, it's also got the sandbox stack on Steam, so maybe there will be a sandbox mode uh, and, and a non-sandbox mode to to play through. Maybe there will be a campaign, but also a free play sandbox. Overall, it looks fun, it looks nice, and I think uh, City Builder fans uh, would definitely enjoy this one if they gave it a go. But also, here's the thing, we don't know how much it will cost, so um, hopefully it's not an overpriced title. Hopefully. Wishlist follow and we'll know um, eventually in a month. At the end of this list we have a game that doesn't have a fixed release date. On Steam currently it says August 2024. So take this with the whole salt shaker of salt, not just a pinch. Um, and uh, be advised that this August 2024 might have been just a placeholder that they forgot to, to update and most likely the game will not release in August. But just in case it does release in August, here it is, Planetaries. Developed and self-published by EY-Studio, EY or A-Studio. Um, th this will be an early access release whenever it comes out. And uh, let's tell you about the game. First of all, it looks beautiful and fun, um, but also pretty, um, pretty template-ish. Let's call it like that. Experience a vast sci-fi open-world survival tower defense game set on a distant planet deep in the universe. Craft, build, mine, trade, explore, and survive in this alien world. Collect data and defend against waves of enemies seeking to banish you. Enjoy the adventures in single player or multiplayer. So if you want open world survival craft early access game in a sci-fi um, world, in a sci-fi, distant sci-fi universe with aliens and other creatures to fight and to build your own base and towers that you can defend, Planetary seems fun, seems nice, um, if that's the type of gameplay you're looking forward to. So wishlist it for it, and um, if it doesn't release in August, at least um, you will get notified whenever it does get released. And of course, hopefully they don't overprice it. To get notified when I upload more content like this one or other builds and guides for water and not so water games, you can subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to not miss out on notifications. As well as uh, keep in mind there's something called memberships on YouTube which lets you be a paying member for my channel to get access to perks such as emotes and badges made by me, as well as the option to get one-on-one uh, -on -one tutoring for the very basics of Adobe Photoshop, Premiere and After Effects. And memberships can be cancelled at any time if you no longer want to be a member. Uh, thanks for watching all the way until the end, Struck Club. Keep it cool until next time, and goodbye.